Welcome to a Song of Ice and Fire Symposium. My name is Nav, and my pronouns are they, them. And my name's Harmit, and my pronouns are Hershey, like the chocolate. And this is A Storm of Swords, chapters 4 and 5, Tyrion and Davos. In these chapters, Tyrion has daddy issues, and Davos causes daddy issues. Welcome to the podcast, everyone. Hey, Harmouth, how are you? I'm chillin' because Winnipeg is cold right now. What about you? We've been snowed in. I am also in Winnipeg in case you don't remember. (laughs) (laughs) You're like, oh, this is how it is where I'm at. (laughs) I don't know about you. (laughs) No, I just wanted to explain the chillin' for the listeners. We both, today, we both had the exact same, exact same experience, but just separately. (laughs) Yes, yes. Where we, like, hung out with a friend and watched a movie because... We were too <laughs> scared to drive in this. <laughs> yep. Um, so, Harmuth, back on topic. What? No. <laughs> Who? <laughs> Who died in these chapters? What died in these chapters? I was um, going to say, what did you think? But then before that, I wanted yes. to ask who um, died. Okay, who died? Oh, we did find out people who died, and I don't remember. Um, Give me a second. One. We know Davos's sons died, like some of them, mm-hmm. like two of them, I think. Four of them, three, four, three of them. But weren't two... he names three different sons? Okay, okay, cool. He's like he's dead, he's dead, and he's also probably dead. Mm-hmm. Like, okay, I guess the probably I was like, oh, technically not. I don't know if yeah, that's true. I don't know if uh, okay. we know that. We'll deal with that when we get to it. But a mm-hmm. few of his sons are dead. Most like we don't have confirmation, confirmation, but there's kind of no way they're not th- dead because they were on, and then he saw the ship drown. So like there wasn't really time. Yeah. Like they're they're dead probably. Mm-hmm. Um, and then they're dead, and then I don't remember. <laughs> I know in Tyrion's chapter, like Tyrion learns about all these things, but I can't remember if there was anything new that we learned about. Like in terms I of think death, we didn't know that uh, Jacelyn Bywater was dead. <gasps> Oh, yes. Okay, yes, yes. Him, and then he, Braun also said, like, oh, and 40,000 more, so I guess that was... Four, not 40. 40,000. 4, 4,000 more? I don't know. He said something. I thought it was 40,000. Yeah, several more, yeah. Oh, okay. But it was not 40,000, okay. I don't think, because that was not even the summation mm-hmm. of both of the armies put together, I don't okay. think. It was probably 4,000 or 400, and I just... Or maybe that was... Okay, you know what? We'll get to it. We'll, we'll confirm. But okay. 40,000 sounds like a lot. Okay. Um, but a lot of people. Yeah. Okay, so what did you think of these chapters overall? Who okay. Who Tyrion's chapter was like, I don't know, like relatable a in lot. a bad way. <laughs> um, like usually with these characters, I'm like, I don't really like relate to them. I can relate to who they are, but I can't relate to what they're going through because it's so well, Which like, part of Tyrion's chapter did you relate to? Just the whole like parental, like, like the, just the whole like him the daddy trying issues. really- You the related daddy with the daddy issues. issues. <laughs> like him trying, I didn't want to say it, but like mm-hmm. him trying so hard to like get a response and just like not getting anything. And then the response that he did get was he was like, okay, I should have kept my mouth shut. That mm-hmm. whole like thing of him, like just that, that point when he was like, and, and Tyrion would recount that he should have kept, kept, t- t- taken another step and another one and another one and left the room. Mm-hmm. Cause when he's like taking a step to yeah. leave and then he comes back like that, ooh, I mm-hmm. felt that. But it was like I don't know. It was it was weird to have a chapter that was just like so like I don't know, just like emotionally intense. I feel like we haven't had this in a while. Yeah, um, it's true because we so have, many we, of them. We are had like, a lot of like action heavy things. Yeah, yeah. Towards like the we've end had of the like book. Catelyn like mourning, but it's never been like between two characters who are both kind of like. You know, it's never been yeah. an interaction. We've had this a lot it with, like, internal... drama. Yeah, we've had it a lot with, like, internal monologue going on, but we haven't had it with, like, 
confrontation Dialogue, style in a while. Yeah, yeah interesting. Mm-hmm. Very interesting. Did you enjoy reading it though? I don't know. I think so. <laughs> I can't tell. I think because I just read it. I don't know. What are your thoughts on Tywin? Um, trash. <laughs> okay. Um, I just. But like useful trash, like as in, <laughs> like he's a trash human being, but like he's... he gets shit done. You of know? course, yeah, yeah. Like he's fully capable. Like I would like, I would like trust him to complete a task for me but would i want to no <laughs> so yeah i mean yeah we'll, we'll we'll talk about it okay yeah and then davos his oh, yeah. situation yeah i that chapter really like i don't know you know you go so many chapters and you're like oh i hope this character isn't dead i hope this character isn't dead and you like you like I don't know. I just sometimes I'm like, like, I wasn't considering that, like, he's like, oh, my kids are dead. I have no will to be alive right now. Like, I hadn't considered that. So that kind of hit me. Yeah. Um, but, but then he I remembers enjoy... that he has some other sons, I feel like. He's like, oh, my <laughs> yeah. sons are dead. And it's like, actually, I have a few more. <laughs> no, he literally to get says up. that at one point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then I think just, like, it was nice to see his little, like, then when he was like, the ship is coming towards me. And then he's, like, weighing out his life. It was, like, an yeah, interesting Yeah, like, whether scenario. it's worth it to, like, yeah. be saved or not. Yeah, yeah, it was interesting. It was nice. Both of these chapters were just, like, daddy issues and emotional turmoil, which was nice. I like that. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I don't like that. Like, like I don't like that for them. But I like reading about it because it. I don't know. I feel like it's just like the human experience. Yeah, and these two chapters are the first that are definitively post the end of Clash of Kings, right? right yeah. Um. Because whereas the last ones could have were like happening during some of the events of Clash of Kings. Right. Um. Okay, so, ready to summarize? Sure. Okay. Three, two, one, go. Okay, Tyrion is, like, up, and he's like, I'm gonna go, and then he talks to Bronn, and Bronn, like, updates him. He's like, I got promoted, um, all these people got promoted, the, like, Oz, Oz Grey, Ozny, those people got promoted, and he's like, these people are dead, whatever. (laughs) Tyrion's like, what about this, what about this, and then, you know, like, we know all the other people, and then he goes and talks to Tywin, and Daddy Issues pretty much sums up that entire conversation, and Tywin's like, you will never be my heir, because Tyrion is like, Jaime can't be your heir in terms of, like, Casterly Rock. Um, Davos. Davos is, um, there and he's, you know, remembering the battle (laughs) and he's recounting all of that and he's like, oh, I saw my sons go down. I saw the fire. I saw the flash. I saw all of this. And he's pretty much on this, like, random, like, he's on this, like, random, he's in the, oh my god, Blackwater? Um, Mm -hmm. there's too many B waters. Black, he's on, like, he's Blackwater Bay. He's in the bay. He's out on a rock in the bay. Yeah, and he's like there, and he's like, "Oh no, oh, no one would come here." Oh, that's a minute, here. by the way. Oh, oops. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, <laughs> let's just get into the chapters. Yes. So we've dawdled for a solid while. Yeah, you start with Tyrion. Okay, so Tyrion woke up, and he's kind of just like pissed off being in Megor's hold fast. This is like he's like, it's so dark. I can never see who's coming in when people are coming in, and I'm sick of this shit. And the person mm-hmm. coming in is Braun. And, you know, he's dressed nicely, his hair's washed, all that. I don't remember this being a thing back in the day. I don't remember no, him. No, this is to indicate his new status as a knight. I know, I uh, no, I, I'm, that's what I'm saying. Like, I don't remember oh, this being okay. a thing, like, Braun's being different. Oh, sorry, the way <laughs> you said it, I thought you were like... Oh, I don't, I, I never noticed his hair before. Like, no, no, no. <laughs> I wasn't, like, it wasn't an admiration. No, I was just like, oh, like, wow, Bron, you never did this before. Um, so Bron's doing that. He's looking all, he's looking on, he's looking all flashy. Not flashy, but he's, he's looking clean, which is mm-hmm. weird for Bron. Flashy and, for Bl- Bron, yeah. <laughs> yeah, flashy for Bron. And Tyrion's like, dude, like, I called you a fortnight ago. Like, why the fuck are you, why did it take you so long? And he's like, you were asleep. I And also, it was before. four days ago. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Because Tyrion doesn't really know what time is. 
And also, he's he's not feeling safe in this place because no. Cersei controls Maegor's holdfast. All of the servants belong to her and all of that. So yep. he's been anxious to see Bronn. Yes. He's like, come on, bro. And he's like, what's that ugly thing on your chest? And Bronn's <laughs> like, this is my new sigil. I'm Sir Bronn of the Blackwater. Just yeah. to let you know. And his know. sigil is the burning chain mm-hmm. that Tyrion <laughs> uh, built, right? Hang yeah. on. A burning a chain. chain, green on a smoke gray field. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yep. Lovely. <laughs> Which is, he's like, oh, this thing, it's the very thing you <laughs> created for the battle. Like, you know? <laughs> yep. <laughs> and then Tyrion's kind of like, you can tell Tyrion's like kind of turned off by this. He's like, I don't like this. Um, He's like, D- they're just like having this conversation and like. Um, yeah, well. Because, so, Bronn has been knighted, as he says, by your lord father's command. And Tyrion's like, uh, you're giving him all the credit? I was the one who promised mm-hmm. you that knightship mm-hmm. and whatever. Uh, so he's feeling some kind of way about that. Mm-hmm. And he just asks about, like, what's going on? And who died? And who's, you know, who's still around? Mm-hmm. So we could, conf- yeah, you know, he's like, I know Mandon Moore died. Who else? And Bronn says the Hound is not dead, but gone. Mm-hmm. So um, there's no indication saying that he was like spotted or, you know, caught trying to leave. So do you think he made it outside the city? I think so. Okay. And oh, speaking of Mandon Moore. Tyrion is convinced that Cersei was behind that. Like, Mm -hmm. this whole chapter, he's like, I'm going to get back at her. She cannot get away with this. I won't let her finish her job and all of that. Um, What do you think? I know we talked about this before, like, who sent him? Why is he killing him? I think Mm -hmm. I'd kind of just been like, I think he did it out of his own accord because he thought it would, like... Because he was pissed off at Tyrion being annoying. Because he he's a him... fish person. What? Mm, oh, remember the theory we talked about? That wasn't Mandon Moore. Wasn't that Varys as a fish? No, but that Mandon Moore is also a mermaid. Because oh. he was mad that Tyrion lit the black water on fire. So he's like, I'm going to get revenge for all my fish people. <laughs> So he tried to kill Tyrion and he wasn't like saddened by how like, you know, ending up in the water at the end of the night because he can swim. He's not going to drown and he's going to show up later at some point. And also one of the pieces of evidence that the theory draws from is like uh, Bronn saying that, oh, I don't know much about the dude, but I remember he had fish eyes. (laughs) Oh, okay. (laughs) Yeah, I was like, this is a weird statement, but okay. (laughs) Yeah. That's funny. Okay, interesting. Do you subscribe (laughs) to that theory? Oh, most definitely. 100%. (laughs) I mean, it's ironclad, if you ask me. (laughs) Okay. All right. Sorry, Um, you think he did it of his own accord, because... Why? Because, like, he thought it would, like... A, he doesn't like Tyrion. B, he, like, wanted to be able to... Because they were doing this stuff at the end together, right? So he wanted to be able to take credit for that battle part at the end. To kind of be like, oh, look, I did this all on my own. Tyrion ended up getting himself killed. Yeah, that would be, like, a the simplest explanation. And the simplest explanation is usually the right one. But uh, we don't know, so... Okay, so you're Uh, telling me that's not the right explanation. I'm saying that we don't know what the right explanation is. Okay, why are you saying it in such a twisted way? Because it's my job to twist Mm -hmm. my words. Yeah, no, I've learned that every time you try to make me think my theory isn't correct, it is correct. So I'm going with my theory. Okay, but see, what you haven't learned is that <laughs> I also make you think your theory isn't correct <laughs> when it isn't, isn't correct. correct. No, I know that, but now you're just <laughs> twisting it to, no, we're going back to the chapter. We've only okay. got through one page. It's 17 minutes. Okay, so. Oh. No, but then this, he call, he says, my sister has mistaken me for a mushroom. She keeps me in the dark <laughs> and feeds me shit. <laughs> <laughs> that was funny. 
Uh, Tyrion is so funny. At like, least I've his missed... trauma hasn't affected his nah. sense of humor. <laughs> oh my god. I feel like his trauma like feeds his sense of humor. Which kind of yeah. sucks. Because I'm laughing at his trauma at that point. <laughs> yeah. Um, George R. R. Martin has said that his favorite character is Tyrion. Mm-hmm. And that he likes all the clever things he says. But like George R. R. Martin's the one who comes up with them. But... Yeah. Tyrion, like, supposedly comes up with them in the moment, and it takes George R. R. Martin, like, days to come up with them sometimes, <laughs> so. Right. That's true, yeah. No, that's definitely, yeah, no, Tyrion is very iconic, we stand. But, um, yeah, after he says that, it, they're kind of, he's kind of talking about how he doesn't trust, like, Pod, like, he thinks Podrick is under Cersei's control, too, because Pod, Podrick told I don't know him if that he dis- Sir Jacqueline. I don't know if that's what he believes. I don't trust half uh, of what he tells me. Oh, and then he says, I don't trust half of what he tells me, followed by, he told me Sir Jacelyn Bywater is dead, and I don't believe that. Like, I feel like it's that specific piece of news. Okay, I thought he was like, oh, like Cersei got to him or something, so I don't trust him. I don't think she, yeah, I think Pod saved his life against Cersei. Y- you know, potentially, like, Cersei's agent so i know but like pod's a good lad but the knot in his tongue is the size of casterly rock like like he doesn't talk much and what he does tell me i don't believe because it like pod is just not a reliable source because he's like a little kid and okay yeah yeah like, I, he I just doesn't I like think know this what's indicates going on. yeah that the, he's working for cersei just that he's not you know he's not the not knowledgeable type yeah, that's that's fair. Because I guess later he's also like, how can someone be so good in battle and just so, like, all over the place <laughs> normally? Yeah, but, Pod? but that's that's so, that's relatable to mm. me. That's me. Like, when I'm in crisis, I'm, like, no, no, no. so level-headed. I, I can deal yeah. with shit, but, like, day to day, yeah. I'm barely surviving. <laughs> no, I literally wrote, what did I write next to that? I was, I was like, works well Don't under pressure. And- yeah. Uh, no, but I, I'm not on that page right now. But I, I was, I was oh, like, like works it, well under in his pressure. resume, he can write <laughs> yeah. works well under pressure. No, he yeah. totally can. <laughs> works well only under pressure. <laughs> <laughs> no, exactly. But you leave that part out because all they care about is under pressure. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, so this is when he says like, oh, Sir Jacqueline and thousands more. I don't know why I imagined a four there. Um, or 40. I don't know you imagine I'm... a 40, yeah. I don't know. I fully remembered like the page saying 40, so... I don't know what's going on there. But yeah, we find out Sir Jacqueline's dead and thousands more, according to Bronn. And Tyrion's kind of like, what the fuck? And Bronn's like, you know, during the battle, um, after the, after Joffrey was relieved of his duties, then everyone at all yeah. the Gold Cloaks were like, why would we fight? So they tried to leave, but then Jacqueline Bywater like tried and to Jason stop tried them to... Like, with force, but there were and so many killed. of them that he freaking died obviously and then like you know and he says now. like at one point it seemed like he was gonna get them back on his side but then somebody killed him and then everybody was like ah oh, screw yeah. this and then yeah. everybody left i mean yeah like if there's thousands uh, of people like so one sad. person ain't gonna bywater was such a like that was a like a good person like you know solid person yeah, yeah, yeah. oh 100 the, the kind the of which that... we need more of no, 100%. And the kind that keep dying, because in this world, that's mm-hmm. not, like, he's, he's like, you know, he's another iteration of Ned, like. Well, but he wasn't, like, Ned honorable. He was just no, reliable. No, I know. I know, but, like, I just mean, like, the good people dying, like, the people who are kind of, like, okay, like, no, we have to keep fighting. And, like, you know, like, he could have easily been, like, okay, why would I get in the middle of this? Yeah. Like, I'm about to get killed, but. He still did, even though he probably kind of knew that it wouldn't mm-hmm. probably work. But anyway, thousands of people are now dead. <sighs> and then, you know, Tyrion is pissed off, as he should be, because he specifically told Cersei, like, dude, they're going to stop fighting if you do that. Don't do that. And he's kind of like, yeah. oh, was he in danger? Where Was his hair touched? Oh, wow. You know, you can tell he's a little salty about that. Yeah. And then he's uh, like, we find out that the gold cloaks are now headed by Sir Adam Marbrand, one of like Tywin's Westermen. And yay. Tyrion's like, oh, that's a good choice because he's the sort of man that other men like to follow. So, whatever that means, I don't like that. 
What do you mean? I don't like that. Because it says he compares he's... him to Jamie. Yeah, yeah, which is why I don't like that. Okay. And he's like, no, because no, the reason I don't like that, I'm kidding. That's not the reason I don't like that. The reason I don't like that is because he's a ca- he seems like a capable Lannister. And I like it when the Lannisters are incapable because then they're easier to defeat. Mm. Yeah. Yes. But he's like, oh, yeah. I can get behind that. He's like, oh, he's the type of people people like to follow. I'm like, dang it. I wish he wasn't. You know? (laughs) Yeah. So then we find out that all of uh, Tyrion's uh, mountain men are no longer around. Like the stone crows are still in the king's wood because Shaga likes it there. Uh, Timid and the burned men have gone back to the Vale because they like plundered Stannis's camp and they got what they wanted. <laughs> and then Chella's group was uh Chella and her black ears were chased off by people like at the gates and that sucks. <laughs> yeah, that is like that's so unfair. They helped you so much and now you're just going to dismiss them like that. Yeah. Uh speaking of dismissal, uh Cersei dismissed Aliyaya, but Aliyaya was whipped before she was let go. And eventually Tyrion finds out that it was Tywin who ordered the whipping. But uh, he is not happy about that. And he's like, I said I would do the same thing to Tommen. So I guess I should whip him. But I don't want to because he's a good kid. Yeah. Uh, so... Oh, uh, oh, and then Bronn's like, oh, yeah, that's irrelevant anyway, because you don't have Tommen anymore. Mm. As soon as Bywater died, they handed Tommen over to Cersei. So, yeah. yeah. The pattern here is just every single thing that T- Tyrion worked to do is either, it's either been used. Undone, and or somebody else has t- taken yeah. over. Oh, just, Someone oh. else took credit, or it's just not even a thing anymore, and all he's got left mm. is, like, Bronn and, like, Pod. Yeah. Kind Wait, of. there's there's more to yeah. the casual casualty list of Tyrion supporters. <laughs> yes. Um, the next are the Kettle Blacks, mm-hmm. who are now being like, Osney and Osford were, are made knights, and isn't one of them already on the King's Guard at one point? So like Cersei's bribing them with more than just money, so they're taking her side now, which is like. Honestly, I don't I don't know if you want people like that on your side, Tyrion, if they can be bought so easily, you know? Oh yeah. <laughs> but like that's also his strength is that he buys people <laughs> to yeah. get beyond his side. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, like that one I don't regret that loss as much as like the loss of somebody like Bywater or the yeah. mountain men even. Yeah, totally. Uh and then and then we kind of the Renly thing kind of gets cleared yeah. up. Okay, does it? it does it? I would okay, say it what's does. the clarification? It's kind of like a disappointing clarification because I'm like, oh, okay. So I guess they just kind of like got. I like. I'm assuming what happened was like they got someone else to kind of like dress up like Renly, or they just spread the rumor that it was Renly just to get the people like kind of on their side to be like, hey, like. This look, Renly's on our side. So then the Stannis. Yeah, Bronn says we didn't like see anything from up where we were, but like yeah. people that were on the ground said they saw him in his shiny armor yeah. fighting and winning the day. So Yeah, I mean his clothes weren't eaten by the shadow, so anyone could have just like taken so his you clothes. Think he, like any any if that's what happened, any guess for who might have been that? I don't know what's making me say this. But for some reason, wasn't it like, I don't remember, literally, I don't remember what happened. But wasn't there something before where I was like, what if Littlefinger just like dressed up as him? Like, do you remember you something did happened? say that. I don't remember why you, I said that though. Uh, I don't remember either, but Weren't they like, oh, they have the same not body type or something? Or I don't know. There was something that happened that made me think it was Littlefinger. I don't remember why I said that though. So, yeah, but we discounted it because oh, it didn't make sense. Oh, okay. Why do I only remember my theories that didn't make sense? <laughs> I never remember the good ones. Um, okay. So maybe like uh, wasn't I mean it could have been like um Marjorie's brother or something. 
Wait, no, but Marjorie's brother was the dude he Loris, was sleeping with. I think Loris was seen riding next to Renly, specifically. Basically. Oh, okay. Right, right. Okay, so then I'm not sure. Normally, in normal situations, I would have said Brienne, but we know that Brienne was not there. But yeah, that was kind of a disappointing end to the Renly thing. I was kind of hoping he was, like, back alive or, like, the shadow got undone, but I guess not. Um, yeah, sad. and Tyrion's like, oh, I've been eclipsed by a dead man. People are talking <laughs> about his victory as opposed <laughs> to mine. Yeah. Um, and then he we learn how Stannis got away. It's because Salador San had his, like, galleys out in the bay beyond Which the chain. Which we've known. Like, I think we kind of talked about yeah. that briefly. I was like, oh, they're still there. So Stannis still had some people. Mm-hmm. Which is, yeah. I guess it worked out in his favor. Yay. So they pulled up to some kind of shore and got everybody on board and ran away. Yay. Um, And then we hear about Rob Stark a bit and how... Some of his, you know, people are in Duskendale and how Tywin is sending Samwell's father, Lord Tarly, to sort that out. And mm-hmm. these, if just a reminder, I think this is the party that we heard about in the last Arya chapter of A Clash of Kings when, what's his name, Bruce Bolton is like, oh, by order of the king, y'all should go attack over there. Do you remember that? Nope. Yeah, like, Roose Bolton was having, like, a war council while naked and being leeched. Oh, that was funny. (laughs) Right? And he, yeah, he, like, there's, like, a bunch of things going on, and he's like, okay, you, you, and you are going over there to fight. So. Oh, okay. So, Bolton. This is that. Okay, gotcha. Yeah. Hmm. Uh... And then, okay, I think, is this the, oh my god, this list is so long of all the people that have abandoned Tyrion. The next is his own personal guard, which Kevin paid off. The ones who survived the battle. (laughs) That's so sad. (laughs) Yeah. And uh, now... (laughs) Yeah, I was just kind of thinking about, like, Bronn, because Bronn, like... Like, I was kind of thinking about, like, I was kind of doubting Bronn, and then I was like, no, Bronn is still on Tyrion's side. And I was, I don't know, I was just, like, thinking about that. So is it, like, I guess it's just, like, okay, like, Tyrion can often offer me more at the end of this. Like, does he just trust Tyrion more? Or is it, like, oh, the Lannisters don't give a shit about me, so they're not going to do anything else for me beyond this, like, knighthood or whatever? As long as Tyrion pays him as much or more than, you know... The Tywin yeah. or Cersei, then I guess he'll stick with Tyrion. But if they offer to pay more, then yeah, I guess that makes sense. And them. I guess they won't because to them, he's like Tywin's or Ty- Tyrion's most like, like everyone else. They're like, okay, Tyrion wasn't like it's not worth trying. Yeah, I mean they have tried with like the you know we're gonna give you nice clothes and a title and all of that. Yeah. But I I don't think they try like they could try more. I think if they thought it would be more effective. Like I feel like to them they don't I, I don't know. I almost feel like they don't realize how corrupt Bronn is and how easily they could. Or maybe they just right. don't think it's and useful. Do you remember what know. Tyrion said to him? He was like if anybody ever offers you to pay me more than me, just tell me and I'll double their price. <laughs> oh shit, I don't remember that. <laughs> so like if give, given like the same price Bronn would stick with Tyrion just because he has a history with Tyrion. But if, right. like, somebody was like, whatever, Tyrion pays mm-hmm. you. I'll pay you double that. He could just keep going back and forth right. and, like, getting, like, a pay raise. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> keep funny. working the system. <laughs> yeah. Go off, Bronn. Bronn um, really got lucky. Like, that day he was like, yeah, I'll fight for you. Not got lucky. Like, obviously I had to work for it. But, like, he was in the right place at the right time. Yes, exactly. That's true. Um... Mm-hmm. But also, he like kind of forced himself to that place because if you remember, he he was in that inn where Catelyn took Tyrion hostage, and mm-hmm. then he just insisted on tagging along. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's funny. Um. <gasps> oh yeah, yeah. He was one of the people that like came with Cat Catelyn in the first place. Yes, but mm. not one of her people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. but like from the inn. She met in the inn. Yeah, exactly. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. 
Um, okay, then we learn about how, like, Marjorie's making her way, you know, slowly to King's Landing. I'm like, um, an army got there, like, quicker than... <laughs> why, why is it taking so long? I mean... But, like, in anticipation of her coming, mm-hmm. the High Gardens have been spoiling the city with like free food this is so smart they're so smart i don't even know if it's free food but just like access to food you Mm -hmm. know before they were starving and now they're like oh yeah they're totally giving it away in her name it is free food yeah 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 this is this is so smart this is is so smart (laughs) no literally this is so smart like because even like I don't know, like, people don't like the Lannisters. This is a really smart way, because obviously all these families, Yeah, they can be like, oh, wanna... we like the new queen. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, eventually, like, I'm sure they want to eventually use Marjorie to, like, you know, it's Lannisters 2.0. Like, Cersei, Cersei went in, and then Tywin stuck his foot in, and, you know, like, all these different things. And it's the same thing. They want the same trajectory, but they're, they, like, this was smart. I was, like, proud of them, because I don't hate them yet, so I'm proud of them. <laughs> yet. <laughs> Yet. I'm sure they'll do a lot to hate make me. I hate mean, they're them. on the Lannister side. As I know, of now. but like but I think just cause like I don't know. I just I like them still. Okay. Well, uh yeah, so that's happening. And then they Dickens like, okay, I've heard enough. I'm gonna go meet my dad, and he gets stressed and it's very painful. He has to painfully make his way down the stairs, out the, you know, just yep. the whole thing. The whole shebang. Yep. Eventually, he gets to the Tower of the Hand and gets Bronn to carry him up part of the way because it's just too much right now. Mm-hmm. And I think he runs into, yeah, he runs into Sir Adam Marbrand and is like, oh, congratulations. But oh, also, sorry that you inherited mm-hmm. such a sucky position. Yeah. Um, and Marbrand's like, yeah, well, what you gonna do? We'll just, uh, keep on keeping on. I have a quick question. I feel like because we haven't read in so long, I've, like, forgotten who everyone is. And I tried to go to the appendix, and I got confused Mm -hmm. because I don't even know which house they're in, so I don't even know what to look under. (laughs) If you look in, like, King's Landing, it should list everybody's things. Okay, I know. But but who are you asking about? Because... I, there's too many T's and there's too many R's. Like, who's Redwine and who's Rowan? Rowan. Rowan, yes. Okay, so those are both, um, like, houses sworn to Highgarden. Okay, gotcha. And and the Tyrells are, like, the Highgarden people. Yeah. Okay, Yeah, yes, Tyrells gotcha. are in Highgarden. Yes, yes. Okay, and cool. Because every time the Tyrells come up, they come up, and I'm just like, who are you? <laughs> and I always forget. Yeah, they're their men, and so okay. is Tarly. Like, Sam's dad okay, is also yes. sworn to... Oh my god, why are um, they all T's? <laughs> yeah, that's... They need to T well, with a T. <laughs> <laughs> like... Okay, gotcha. Sounds good. Yeah. Uh, okay, so... Oh my god, I know where I got the 44,000 from. Because Sir Adam says, death and desertation have left me with some 4,400. And I mm-hmm. think I thought of that and thought of that a thousand the, and I just combined. But 4,400, 40,000, yeah. <laughs> I, just, I, I think that's where the four came from. Got it. Oh, the other thing that Marbrand talks about is how they're still looking for Tyrion's cousin Tyrek. Mm-hmm. Who went missing in the riot? And uh, Bronn's like he's dead. There's mm-hmm. no fucking way he's still alive. Mm-hmm. But um, Tywin is still, uh, you know, looking for him, dead or alive. Mm-hmm. So we don't know what that's all about. Any yeah. ideas where he might be if he's dead or alive? I'm not sure. Um, I have um a crackpot theory. <laughs> I was like, what's the most wild thing that could actually be happening here? And I'm like, I don't know. Maybe he, like, ran away with someone. He ran away with someone. Like, he was having an affair with someone, and he ran away. Right. He was cheating on his baby wife. (laughs) Yes, he was. (laughs) Yeah. Um, Yeah, that could be, but he went missing during the riot. Uh, Maybe 
he just like was like this is my opportunity yeah. i'm gonna take it or maybe someone you know maybe someone is like be... holding him hostage or is gonna hold him hostage and be like hey tywin you got this dude who is wed to the last but surviving why haven't heir? they come up like why haven't they asked for ransom yet i don't know maybe they're just like waiting for things to die down i don't know why they would do that but maybe they are sure Okay, I I do like the he ran away with somebody mm-hmm. idea just because like that's a happier <laughs> end. <laughs> yeah. Um, and it sounds like Tyrion liked the dude. Mm-hmm. Um, so I don't know. Yeah, I mean, he was also like thirteen, right? So or no, like the, mm-hmm. the, the like the the baby that he got married to was a child. Yeah, no, the baby he got married to is a baby, like yeah, yeah, a ch- like a child, yeah, like baby. And he also is probably on the younger side. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't remember like if he's thirteen or sixteen or something like that. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> so he goes up to the Solar where Tywin is. I don't. Although, what are you? Is yeah. Sorry, I was like, is this... Yeah, it's late at night, Mm -hmm. so it's not really a solar. It's like a lunar. (laughs) Okay. Get it. Yes. Uh, (laughs) So, um, I gotta recover from my own bad joke. (laughs) (laughs) Okay. Uh, Oh, yeah. Something is wrong. He knew at once. Yeah, Tywin's in a mood and... Tyrion is not looking forward to dealing with it but you know they're like oh should you be here yeah well I didn't want to spread you know give credence to the rumors that I'm dead so I just thought I'd show my face and uh also why the hell am I in a dungeon like room and Tywin's like we'll get you some rooms once the wedding's done calm down Mm -hmm. and I'm like why are you hiding him till the wedding yeah, uh, I don't know if they're high. Well, maybe they are. Hiding. They haven't addressed him at all. That's true. Even during but that, that's entire just kind of like the, the general embarrassment of the family kind of deal, you know? Yeah, I know. I'm just pointing that out. I'm like, <laughs> you're embarrassed of your son, and you aren't admitting it. Yeah. So Tywin is like, he got something to say. I got important letters to write. And Tyrion's like, oh, I, they must be important if you didn't come visit me. And he's, and okay, this is what Tywin says. I like this line. Some battles are won with swords and spears, others with quills and ravens. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. What battles do you think he's winning with these quills and ravens? I have no idea. Like, maybe he's like. What's he plotting? I'm not sure. Maybe he's like I was about to say emailing. Um, maybe <laughs> <laughs> maybe he's writing to I don't know. Maybe someone at Casterly Rock to like defend the stuff better because Rob's like doing his shit over there. Um, or yeah. maybe I don't know. Maybe he's writing to Rob and he's like, "Buddy, back off." <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I'm not sure. I can't. I can't think of anything that's like, you know. I don't know. What he could be potentially yeah, doing. Yeah, because I feel like they already have so many alliances, and they're kind of, like, winning now. Like, before there were so many things that Tyrion had sent out that we didn't know the results of, that, like, he could be following right. up but on. but it's definitely related to, like, the Rob situation then. Yeah, it feels like it. Because that's the only situation really that left to deal resolved. with. Because, yeah, yeah. like, the Greyjoys are attacking the North, and that's it advantageous <laughs> to the Lannisters, so they're like, ah, oh, go ahead and do mm-hmm. that. Yeah, exactly. And also, it was funny, like, right before that, when they're, right before they talk about the letters, he's so dramatic. He's like, Joffrey and Marjorie shall marry on the first day of the new year, first day of the new century, dawn of a new era. I'm like, y'all are such a dramatic family. Like, you need to <laughs> just calm down. Like, new era? Okay. It's an auspicious day. They, ah. sorry, I was gonna, <laughs> like, make a joke, but it might be offensive, so I'm not gonna... Okay. Um, moving on. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, look at me holding myself back once. <laughs> do, do, do. Okay. Uh-huh. Yeah, so, yeah, they're just going back and forth. In this chapter, and... he's very obsessed with trying to prove, like you said, that Mandon Moore was sent by Cersei. And he's like, Tyr- yeah, but Tyr- he won't like bring it up yeah, with yeah, Tywin because yeah. he knows he doesn't have enough evidence yet. Yeah, so. he doesn't have enough evidence. But at the same time, I'm like, even if he had evidence, like Loki, I don't think Tywin would care. 
Like, mm-hmm. sadly? He might, just because, like... Well, if it... Okay, but if it... Because his... Okay, sorry. <laughs> One of the things that comes up yeah. is that Tyrion threatened Joffrey and Tommen, and Tywin is like, don't threaten you don't kid. threaten family. Yeah, I know, but he doesn't think of, like... He literally has that one line where he's like, there's no way to prove you're not mine. Like, I don't think he, he doesn't, like, I don't know if he, that extends to Ty- Tyrion. But Tyrion has his name. So, like, an attack on Tyrion is an attack on a Lannister, by a Lannister. I mean, he would, mm, I, I not that he wouldn't, de- he would definitely take Cersei's, more of Cersei's side than Tyrion's. Yeah. But I don't know if he would dismiss it entirely. Okay, yeah. That's fair. Um, and then, okay, they also talk about, like, the Rob thing again. And Tyrion's like, what the hell is he doing at Duskendale? Like, there's nothing There's nothing on. at, yeah, there's yeah. nothing at Duskendale worth such a risk. Had the young wolf finally blundered? I don't know. What do you think? Because, like, because it's so close, right? So it's really dangerous to, like, be mm-hmm. there and, like, be like, yeah. oh, yeah, I'm fine just going here with, like, a few people. But, like... What the fuck is- Have we heard about Duskendale at all? Like, I have to look it up on the map. I feel like we've never, like, talked about Duskendale. Right? Like I said, it came up when uh, Bruce Bolton and them dudes were deciding where to go. But, like... But, like... I don't think anybody we know has been there. Are we, like, putting a post there so that we can, like, monitor, you know, the city? But it's, like, too far to do that, right? Or, like, is it... Because, you know what I mean? Like, I don't know what we're trying to... Like, I literally don't know what he's doing. But I don't think it's blundered. Like, I think it's like a... Let's do Strategic this. Strategic plan. Yeah, but yeah. I don't know what the strategy is. Because cause I, at first I was thinking, like, maybe it's like they're going to try and stop, like, the food food supply to the city. But that comes from the south. And Duskendale's, mm-hmm. like, like kind of... North. Yeah. yeah. So I was like, okay, that doesn't work. So, I don't know. Duskendale's kind of, like, off to the side. Not where much is happening. Yeah. So... I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Maybe it's yeah. like... Uh, no, go I ahead. don't know. No, tell me. I was me. like, maybe they'll like try and get Sansa and Arya back. And then I was like, that's not at the high like high end of their priority list. And that right. won't be very effective to just be put yourself in more danger. To- oh, by the way, the, the people who um, Roose Bolton directed to attack there are... Helmut Tallhart and Robert Glover, yes. both of whom lost their homes or family to the Greyjoys. So he was like, go take your revenge over there. Oh, okay. Oh, so we're taking revenge. Damn. Yeah. Uh, yeah, and Tywin's plan is to send Tarly to meet them while uh, the mountain is up the King's Road so that they can surround robs like the uh the stark people and just yeah but what concerns me is a third of rob's strength is apparently here which is like um that's a lot (laughs) like now we only have it is a lot like i don't like that at all so it is a big risk is it worth it i don't know okay all right, so uh, they finally get to the point where Tywin's like, what do you want? And Tyrion's like, uh, a little bit of gratitude would be a great start. Mm-hmm. And Tywin's like, oh, you want me to applaud you? That is silly. You did what you were told and you did it to the best of your ability, but like, big deal. Mm-hmm. <laughs> And honestly, I'm oh, I'm so furious because if like Tyrion hadn't been there, everything would have fallen apart. Oh, hundred percent. Ages ago, oh, they yeah. wouldn't have a city to save. Tywin's like, oh, uh, many say that it was my attack on Stannis's fleet that saved the day, but you would there wouldn't be a day to save if Tyrion hadn't been there. Just yeah, like it would have just been the Joffrey oh. show. Joffrey and Cersei just messing things up. But, like, also, yeah, they probably would have already, like, lost and died by oh, then. Yeah. 100%. Like, there, there was no way they could control the city. There was no way they would have, like, amassed the, you know, strength that Tyrion did. Yep. 
and nobody would have thought about the chain. They would have just been flinging wildfire everywhere, setting the whole shit. Mm. <laughs> yeah. yeah, Tyrion was the one that came up with all the safety precautions. Like, not all of them, but like a lot of them, right? He was like, get me some empty pots so I can teach people how to throw them. Like, you know, he came up with shit. Yeah. And Tyrion's like, oh, yeah, yeah I you like, predict came up with that the chain? If- That's it. Or Tywin is like. Yeah. He, that's all he acknowledges. Yeah, if T- Tyrion had not been there, I really do think the city would have been burnt down by wildfire. Yeah. At, like, best case scenario. Best case scenario, <laughs> yeah. Honestly, I feel like we would have crumbled long before then. Because it would have just been a progression of, like, like the weaker, the weaker the city gets, the more... Like, I don't even think we would have gotten to that point. Like, I feel like there would have already been an attack... Before they would have been prepared for the attack. Yeah, it could be. But, like, by who? Who would attack the city? I don't know. Like... Because, like, Stannis wasn't prepared. Renly wasn't prepared. And Rob's not interested in attacking. So, like... <laughs> I know, but, like, st- like Stannis... Okay, why are we discussing hypothetical? It's <laughs> moving on. <laughs> okay, but, like, I just okay. think Stannis... It, like, you know, like, if... if Like, the city would have fallen apart further... And people would have heard about it and then been more likely, like Stannis would have been more likely to attack unprepared, all that. But once again, super hypothetical. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay, so the uh, other thing we learn here is, uh, so the one thing that, another thing that Tywin gives Tyrion credit for is the deal with Dorne. Mm-hmm. And he tells Tyrion that Marcella has arrived safely at Sunspear. And while that's like kind of like an iffy deal, just because now the Ty- sorry the Martells have a hostage, Tywin's like, ah, it's worth it. And besides, once they, you know, I think Tyrion points out that one of them will be coming. Yeah, Prince no, Doran. Prince Doran will be coming to claim his council seat because that's what we offer right. him. So yeah, exactly, and then. Tywin is like, yeah, but that's not all you offered him. You offered him justice. And that means me losing my one of my important assets in the mountain. Mm -hmm. And I don't know how I feel about that. And Tyrion's like, yeah, but we can find you a couple other mountains. Mm -hmm. Like, just go ahead with it. (laughs) And Tywin. So why specifically the mountain? Did what did he do? I don't remember. Um, he is the one who it is widely like it's not nobody like confirms it because you know confirming it is admitting it and then like you got to deal with wars of crime and all of crime of war what wars of crime crime wars war crimes war crimes <laughs> <laughs> i got there in the end um but he is the one who killed elia and her kids Oh, Elia Bartel. Yeah. Okay. Gotcha. So, yeah. Sad. Uh. Do do do. Wait. Kay. When? So this... Why? Whose side was he on when he did that? <laughs> when? Why? <laughs> okay. So, Elia Bartel was married to Rhaegar Targaryen, right? Yes. Okay. So during the sacking of King's Landing, when the Lannisters turned up and were like, open the door, we're going to help you out. But instead, we're like, actually, we're now going to switch over to Robert's side because we see advantage there. Yes. So. Oh, and yeah. Gregor was always on Tywin's side. So he did that during that. Yes, okay, exactly. Gotcha. And Ned remembers seeing like the bodies of the kids and was like, ah, uh, I never abided by that then. I don't abide by it now. And that was a sucky move, okay. and, which is one of the reasons why he like another one of the reasons he hates the Lannisters is because they would do something like that. Because like those dead bodies were Tywin's offering to Robert as like, hey, look, I'm on your side and I gave you this city, like all of that. Right. Meanwhile, the, when the whole Cersei thing happened, he was like, escape with your kids. I don't want to hurt your kids. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Right. Which... uh Really? Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, I think it was all... Uh, I mean, I respect that, honestly, but it, the man I lost his head it, for it. I respect it, but, like, you better <laughs> yeah. die, bro. You kill or be killed. Like, that's what happens here. You win or you die. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, okay. 
So this is the point where Tyrion's about to like leave, but then he's like, actually, I'm going to turn back and say, I want what is mine by rights. I want Casterly Rock. Later, he would and... reflect that he should have taken mm-hmm. a second and then a third. Instead, he turned. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, so this conversation Tywin's was a response shit show. Is, yeah, Tywin's response is like, it's your brother's right. And Tyrion's like, yeah, well, he's sworn to the king's guard. He can't have this. Also, like, nobody brings it up, but, like, currently to their best knowledge... I think, like, unless, you know, they have knowledge that we don't know that they have knowledge. Yeah. But that Jamie is captive at River Run. Yeah. Why is Tywin so confident that Jamie's going to be back to, yeah. you know, do this? Yeah. Um, yeah. And then we get, this is, we get, like, a paragraph of dialogue from Tywin, which is, like, this was such good villain dialogue. Oh, yeah. It's got like the right amount of discrimination and <laughs> hatred, and like you know, just oh, like yeah. really makes you. you can ask, I read it out loud? Yeah, go for it. Or you ask, you can read it. Okay. Or I can. Okay, fine. <laughs> you ask that you who killed your mother to come into the world, because you know science. <laughs> <laughs> You are an ill-made, devious, disobedient, spiteful little creature full of envy, lust, and low cunning. Oh, the fact that he calls Tyrion's smarts low yep. cunning. Yep, yep. Men's laws give you the right to bear my name and display my colors, since I cannot prove that you are not mine. <gasps> to teach me humility, the gods have condemned me <gasps> to watch you waddle about wearing that proud lion that was my father's sigil and his fathers before him. But neither gods nor men shall ever compel me to let ter- let you turn Castle Rock into your whorehouse. To which teach is when it- me humility? Sir, yeah, you have like, not this isn't about any. you. This is about me. <laughs> Everything is about yeah, me. <laughs> there is not an ounce of humility in this man. So if God did this to teach you, clearly he wasn't successful. Like, what the, what the fuck are you on about? Yeah, so him talking about the whorehouse is what brings up like, oh, the reason you're in such a bad mood is because you found out about Aliyaya and you're the one who got her whipped. Yep. And they have a back and forth about Tyrion's experience with sex workers in the past and Tywin's like unhappiness with it. Okay, and... I don't understand this because is it like, you know, when someone you don't like some, so, like, sorry, you know, when someone you don't like does something and it's so much worse because you don't like them or because they wronged you because like, like people or is it because like Tyrion's affairs have been semi like, like, like people have known about it and it hasn't been like quiet. Like, why is this an issue? Is it because it hasn't been quiet or is it because it's been Tyrion or is it specifically Tywin who's super against that in his family? It's all of those things. And Tywin has like specific baggage about it, which I'm wondering if I should share or not. Okay, gotcha. Because I was like, I'm not going to share. We know that this is a thing in like highborn families so we know that it's like common but i don't know if it's like Tyrion, because or sorry i don't know if tywin specifically is pissed off about it or if like he's just okay want tywin, tywin it's tyrion like tywin hates it. tyrion he hates being humiliated and he hates sex workers or and all of that affair. combined yes yeah okay and it'll become more and more clear as we continue to read on just exactly like what's going on there okay but yeah he just the conclusion that we have at this time is that like he will not abide by this okay um yeah so he tells Tyrion, you shall have your reward but it shall be one i deem appropriate to your service and station AKA you ain't getting Castle Rock. Mm-hmm. And uh, also, I will not allow you to see any more sex workers because the next one I find in your bed, I'll hang. So. Also, where is Shay? This just reminded me. 
Uh, Who is she? Is she the alive? last time she was serving Lawless. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right in the castle somewhere. Okay. Um, and we know all of those highborn ladies made it out, as far as we know. So Lawless is somewhere in the castle. Therefore, Shay is. Yeah, that is the assumption. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Okay. So you have no idea which. Okay. So there could definitely. Letters Tywin. Yeah, I don't. So there could definitely be a disaster there because Tywin knows what Shay looks like. So if he like runs into the yeah. whole Lawless and like. Well, I don't know if he knows what she looks like. He just knows that there was a sex worker that Tyrion had. Oh, um, he hadn't met her. You know, like. Oh yeah, because he came after and he was like, "Oh, I don't I heard know if about he would that. meet." Right. Right. Yeah. Okay, yeah I yeah. don't know if Tywin would like. Yeah. Okay. Like he might know what she looks like, but I it's not a guarantee. Okay. Good. Um okay, so you don't know what re- letters Tywin is writing or like what kind of things he's planning. Nope, I think it's a um, Rob thing though. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. And uh what do you think Tyrion's reward will be? Ooh. Maybe like mm. I'm sorry. What I'm struggling with is like, would he give Tyrion a lordship? Because what I, because like, there's like, okay, he freaking gave Littlefinger one, but at the same time, like, in his mind, like, I feel like he honestly kind of sees Littlefinger above Tyrion a little bit. Mm hmm. But at the same time, like, it's his son. I don't know. I don't... <laughs> so I don't think he would publicly, like, give Tyrion something that's, like, not valuable. So maybe, like, a lordship of something that's not, like, super, like, you know? That's not Castle Rock. Yeah. Okay. Like, what could that be? I don't know. Maybe, like... Because he wouldn't give over, like, one of his own. Oh, definitely Because he, he doesn't want to piss off his own people. Yeah. Maybe he would, like... Oh my god. Imagine if he gave, like, Winterfell or something. How would he give Tyrion Winterfell? If they, like, if, you know, Stark's lost and all that fun stuff. Um, Okay, so he's gonna wait until they've got, like, more lands to give away and... Yeah, I think so. Okay. Well, Tyrion and Winterfell. I'm not sure if he'd love that. Mm. Because... If you remember, when he heard about, like, Theon having taken over Winterfell... He was like, bro, it's the Starks land. You can't just... Yeah, like, that place is so very much the Starks that, like, Mm -hmm. no other person can ever feel at home there. Yeah. Or it could be, Um, like, another, like... Just, like, it could be, like, a marriage. He could use him for, like, a marriage alliance with someone. With whom? I don't know. With someone. Give me a, just give me a, a, something, Um, a name or anything. um, Okay. I don't know. Who would you want him to get married to? No, uh, no one that we know so far. Like, maybe like, I don't know. No one that we know so far. Okay. All right, then. Um, mm -hmm, mm mm-hmm. Um, oh yeah, speaking of Littlefinger, why is he so eager to get Heron Hall? Something held by the enemies, like not even a guaranteed thing. I don't know. Like we know he has this like issues about like he wants to be the lord over the Tullys, yeah, like yeah, yeah. Yeah, but, like, if you you don't really have it, like, the Tullys don't even recognize that as, like, being a thing, you know? Yeah, maybe he's convinced that, like, Bolton will, you know, like, there will be an issue there, and he's like, oh, don't worry, like, in a few, like, months, it'll be mine. What co- What do you mean, issue? Like, I don't know, if he if he thinks that, like, Bolton won't be able to hold it or something, like, if he's, like, maybe he knows he'll get it at, at like, he'll get it. So he's not worried about when he gets it. Okay. 
Um, that's or maybe a guess a thing. Yeah, I don't know because I don't know why else he's just like, yeah, this empty position. Let's go. Or maybe yeah. it could also like I was thinking maybe it's like technically legally since like Tywin is the hand of the the actual ruling king currently like you know by law in King's Landing yeah, like, yeah he's the king sure. um out of the, like or whatever so maybe like technically he has Heron Hall even though he's not in control of it but like according to like legally he has Heron Hall. So maybe like, I don't know, it's just like, maybe he has like signing authority for something now. I don't know. Hmm. Okay. Like it just gives him more status because like he's a lord now. Whether he has it or not, he is a lord. Like that's something that he can claim yeah. for things that he wants to do. That's true. Okay. I'm good with that discussion. Let's move on to Davos. Look at us. We spent an hour talking about Tyrion. Davos. Yeah, but there's like nothing to talk about with Davos. Yeah, let's <laughs> let's sum it up. Let's see. Five sentences. <laughs> Davos swims under the ships that were a fire and ends up on a rock out in the bay. And he has a fever. He's out here surviving, he... barely, mostly dying. Yeah starving thinking about his dead sons forgetting about his alive sons thinking about whether he Uh, has the will to live and whether he wants the will to live because he sees this approaching him having some you know come to mother moments (laughs) (laughs) and he's like regretting kind of being a bystander to the whole melisandre thing and he's like i should have fucking done more and now i'm gonna do more and that'll be my purpose to go live again yeah exactly so he uh you know there's a ship passing by he hails it they come on over they're like hey who you fight for Mm -hmm. he's like oh i could if i give the wrong answer i could die but this is very this is a lyseni ship so they're probably on stannis's side so he says i fight for stannis and they're like so do we and uh iconic yeah. I have a question. Oh, I think the most notable... Sorry, go ahead. Sorry, this has nothing go to ahead. do with anything. But, okay, Blackwater Bay, we know what that is. There's been a whole battle going on there. What is mm-hmm. Blackwater? Like, is Blackwater close to Blackwater Bay? So, Blackwater is a river. Yes. Like, Black and Blackwater Rush, and then Blackwater Bay is what it flows into. Okay, but, like, Lord of Blackwater... Where's that? Where where does it say that? Isn't Bronn now Lord of Blackwater or something? No, he's a knight of the Blackwater, as in he got his knightship having fought in the Battle of the Blackwater. Okay. Yeah, he's not Lord over anything. Yeah, that's why I got confused. I was like, damn, okay, promotion? Got it. Yeah. Um... Uh, the o- Okay, the only real thing of note is that he's lost his finger bones, mm-hmm. I think. That is, like, a real loss. Yeah. And... <laughs> Not, you know, his sons, who cares? No! His finger bones. Everybody's like, but those were so important to him. Oh, my God, that's funny. And then we're also kind of like, what's the ship up to? Like, are they also just, like, smuggling, vibing? Like, are they kind of spies spying with Stannis? You know what I mean? Yeah, like, what are they doing? Yeah. Also, what is... So he's, like, motivated to be like, I am going to fight for you, mother. Like, you know? Yeah. Uh, I'm not going to stand by anymore. What is he going to do? Like... I don't know, but, like, because... He says, the mother sent the ship here. She had a task for him. What is that task? Mm-hmm. Maybe, like, I don't know, just, like kill melisandre so she can't do more damage or like try and undo something melisandre's done i don't know sorry kill melisandre or try to do undo undo something undo some of the damages like like okay like oh like all of like this innocent maester got killed but like prevent that from happening again maybe like restore the statues or whatever that they'd thrown out like or burn to the yeah, bone right, or right. ash <laughs> or like build a new scepter or something yeah yeah, yeah. like just kind of like 
go back to the old gods and kind of do that or, you know, kill Melisandre or both. Would it be easy to kill Melisandre, do you think? <laughs> no. Will he be able to achieve it if that's his task? I think so. You think he'll be able to do it? Eventually, yes. Okay. All right. Um, That's that then. Yeah. Anything else to say before we yeah. wrap up? I'm just kind of looking at it. This chapter was a nice little recap of everything that Melisandre has done. Because mm-hmm. he's kind of reflecting yeah. everything. He's like, oh yeah, when she did that, when she did that. And I was like, oh yeah, <laughs> that was a thing. Um, <laughs> there was a lot of that. And yeah, he's just kind of like... I got the will to live. I got this thing to do. And wait, what did I write? Oh, I wrote playa for um, <laughs> like player for a, he's like, because he's talking about like all the stuff his sons are going to miss out on. Yeah. One of his sons who's like various girlfriends are going to miss him. <laughs> yeah. I was like, that's so funny. Are they going to have a like they're they're gonna like get together but they're in different ports yeah yeah, i know but it's just funny i was like playa (laughs) and then (laughs) okay um yeah he's just like this was just a sad chapter like he has so much guilt and like survivor's guilt i guess and he's like and just because his self-esteem is so low so the entire time he's like why the fuck would i survive like why am i here i want to die and then he's like i can't die i have this thing to do but now he's found his religion again so he's got motivation well to live yeah because remember he had that stannis was no wait he had that conversation with stannis (laughs) he had the status with conversation (laughs) yeah (laughs) the conversation with stannis were like Stannis was like, I don't really have a religion either, but I'm just doing this. So I guess, like, is is he about to become religious now? I don't know. Um, I don't know. Yeah, let's, uh, we'll guess we'll find out. Yes, sir. So, next chapters. Ooh! We are going to read two, two, two chapters next time. Mm-hmm. Any hopes and predictions? John. And okay. Danny. Close. Okay. The so we're reading chapters six and seven. Okay. Chapter six is Sansa. How is that close? <laughs> it's uh, in Westeros. <laughs> <laughs> Danny isn't. They're half siblings. Um. Okay, Sansa is escaping, or planning an escape. And we're learning about the wedding preparations. Sansa is probably being tortured. Um, By? Various parties. Um, okay, just yeah. all, all of them. Yeah, all these people. So the usual Sansa affairs. Exactly, <laughs> yeah. yep. Uh, okay. The next chapter is John. How? Okay. But that's still not close. That's a half. That's a close. Well, if I had said, oh, whatever. It doesn't matter what I said. Just wrap it up. John John is, um, what is, oh, oh, we learned about the dude at the fist. The cred, cret, crutch, chet, chet. That's his name. Chad. What the That's fuck his name. I forgot who it was. Okay, Chad. Chad. <laughs> Chad. Yes, Chad. Um. Oh yeah, that was happening. But John is often. Oh yeah, because they were like going to the wall or whatever. They were like, oh, we're attacking now. John was like, what are we doing? Are we building something? She was like, no, we're attacking. So I guess they're going to the wall. They're attacking. Are they at the wall? I think they're on their way. Okay. Yeah. I mean. Duh, but like what happens on the way? <laughs> I don't know. Backstory vibes. Who is backstory? Raider. Mance. Mance Raider. Yeah. Maybe so he meets Mance. Will John meet? Yeah. yeah. That would be cool. Mm-hmm. Um, what do you expect Mance to be like? I don't know, like like fun. Fun? Okay. Just like kinda like a down to earth guy, just like vibing. Mm-hmm. I don't know why, but, like, I expect him to, because, like, you know, he's this, like, scary figure we've known about for, for so long, so I'm, like, expecting him to just be, like, hey, John, you know? <laughs> Which would be really funny, but I don't know. I'm just expecting the exact opposite. Okay. 
Ja. Ja, okay. Ja, okay. okay. <laughs> All right. So, we don't have any emails or anything. So, uh, why people email us? <laughs> Our email is popculturesymposium at gmail.com. You can follow us on Instagram at popculturesymposium. And, of course, join the Discord. Do the talks. Share the things. Have the stuff. Oh, talking about Discord. That reminds me. So there was a listener who pointed out that in the last recording, it sounded like uh, Harmouth or, I, yeah, we were like hesitating to use the word abortion and that is not okay, which I agree. Abortion should not be a taboo word. Do you agree, Harmouth? Yes. <laughs> yeah. Um, but we just wanted to clarify in case anybody else also felt that way and we're sorry that we weren't clear. Um, yeah, I like, think we were struggling to call it an abortion. One, one, Harmouth was just confused. Yeah, I she was wasn't confused. sure, like, what I was happening. I didn't, like, know what was going on. So every time I had to, like, address the situation, like, I kept, like, pausing and thinking. And then I would be like, oh, like, the, the miscarriage. Because I think I just honestly, until I went back, because I edited that episode, until I went back and edited it, I didn't, like, put together the situation. So the confusion was definitely a leading factor. Yeah. And I, while I called it an abortion, I also was like, oh, it's because I like abortions to me are like, you know, such a such a practice of free choice and not like bodily autonomy yeah. that in this case it was used in the opposite way. Yeah. And that felt just so wrong. <laughs> right. Yeah. yeah. And I also, at one point, I was, like, trying to, t we were talking about how, like, the tansy whatever medication, or tansy like, um, medicinal herb that she took was toxic, which, or was potentially toxic, which led to her future miscarriages. And I think I said something like, oh, not that medications are toxic, which is also not 100% true. I think I was just trying to say that, Abortion procedures in modern day are not toxic. They do not affect your ability to get pregnant in the future. Right. But there are pharmaceuticals who, whose interest it is to sell you drugs and they put stuff like opioids to extreme degrees in them and fuck people up. So that does exist. But abortions done by a professional doctor trained are not toxic and are a okay but uh big, pharma's big pharmaceutical commonly yes exactly yeah. so both of those things too beware of but big pharma and <laughs> yes. go to real <laughs> doctors and say the word abortion for abortion yay yeah and thank you so much for like pointing that out too because that is it's very important to us that we are clear where we stand and we don't want it to come off in any other way am i yes. is that right Harmit? Yes. anything to add i think i think that's everything <laughs> yeah but that was a great conversation because it like really made me reflect on like what was going on in my head mm -hmm. while i was recording yeah, i had to I... like go back i when i saw that comment i like went back to the like i went and listened to the episode because i like what by the time the episode comes out, I've, like, forgotten the episode. <laughs> so yeah. when I saw the comment, I honestly, like, couldn't even recall the conversation it was from. So then I, like, went back and listened to that part. And then, like, once again, I was like, okay, what was going on in my head? Like, why was I, like, stuttering? And then I was like, oh, when I was yeah. editing this, I was putting it together. So clearly I didn't know what was going yeah. on when we were recording. And I also feel like yeah. I do this. I, I do this a lot with other things too where I'll I'll be like oh yeah like you'll explain something to me and I'll be like oh yeah <laughs> I get it but then not actually get it <laughs> but I don't actually get it and I totally heard that in the episode I was like oh totally that's what Tansy is <laughs> but until I like listened to it again it did not click like at all <laughs> I was like okay this is fine so really we found out that you're a poser <laughs> I think we already knew I'm a poser. <laughs> yeah. 
Uh, yeah. But uh, come have conversations with us. Yes. We love to talk. Join the Discord. And uh, there was a train. <laughs> I could hear a train, so There's I got distracted. Okay. Choo choo. Um, All aboard the choo choo train. <laughs> where did i leave off oh yes okay go go talk to us elsewhere you know it's fun otherwise until next time farewell my friends talk to you later happy holidays mm.